We're here at the St. Pete Times Forum in Tampa, Florida. Hello, I'm Jim Houston. And I'm Craig Simpson. We've got a great game coming up between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is going to be a tough one for these guys tonight. Yes, they're facing a team that loves to be aggressive. And they challenge you to match that work ethic. If you can't raise your game, they'll run right over you. Well, uh, I think when you play 06, you'll, right away you'll notice it's more of a broadcast feel. You'll see some incredible replays and some incredible montages of actual in-game footage. So you play, you make some highlight reel goals. At the end of each period, you'll see those goals played back again. Uh, on our Xbox version, we have normal mapping on the jerseys and jersey tucks and some really cool things. As you play uh, on the ice, and let's say you're all, always in the offensive zone, uh, you'll see that part of the ice build up with snow and the other part kind of stay clear. Players have real-time ice trails as well, trailing behind them if you turn and stop. And there's some really cool things graphically, uh, but the focus this year was gameplay right from the start. So at the beginning of the year, when we were designing 06, we read all the forms, uh, we went on to saw what reviewers were writing, and we saw that a lot of people thought there was a little too much hitting in our game. So we said, okay, well, let's take the hitting out. If the users still want to hit, great, but the CPU, players, we wanted to just kind of guard, play good defensive position, and let you skate around the perimeter, make passes and make plays. So as you pick up the game this year, you'll see right away you could do all this kind of cool offensive stuff uh, and not be getting checked all the time. Coming down on the goalie, he can do so many things, all because of that wicked wrist. We played a lot of NHL 94, and it was so easy to pick up and play and have fun with. Um, that we said, hey, let's take a couple features from there. You know, I don't know where those went, let's bring them back. So our first thing we did was put in left analog deking. So with your left analog, you skate your player around the ice, but you can also deke with it, just like on the old 94 game, uh, when you could D-pad left and right and deke out the goalie. Well, you could do that again with your left analog. It's a lot of fun and anyone could use it, uh, but it takes a little bit of uh, skill to get good at it and to really make the goalie bite. Um, when you get good at it, the goalie will go down, and you could try to shoot upstairs over them. The players with star indicators can use these special shots that we put on the right analog. Some of those shots are spinoramas, between the leg shots, kicking the puck to your stick, even bat ins. You can kick, flip the puck up to your stick and bat it in. And only star players can do it. And uh, you just flick the right analog to do them, and it's a lot of fun. Those will also make the goalie bite and become desperate. I think most people have found so far that they really had to earn their goals this year. Last year it was a little bit more random. You just shoot as many pucks at the net as you can, and hopefully you'll score. Whereas this year, the better you do and the better you are, the more goals you're gonna score. So since our whole game is about offense this year and really getting to the goal and trying to score, uh, for shooting, we added uh, targets in the net. So when you shoot, your left analog helps you aim. So you move it left, right, and you'll see a target on the net move left, right, and you'll be able to shoot exactly where you want it. Everything we did revolved around Great shooting, great one-timers, rebounds, deflections, left analog deking, the right analog shots, and it's all about the offense. Uh, setting up in the zone was big to us. Um, you might think after hearing all this that it, it sounds like it's all about the offense, but we also kept our good defensive play. They're just not gonna come check you all the time. They're gonna let you set up around the perimeter. What that did is it made a more of a simulation uh, right away in our game because now you can stop and set up just like a real NHL team would. Are we added to our dynasty mode sim intervention so you can uh, go in, sim a game, watch it uh, develop, and if you're losing by a goal or two, jump in there with five minutes left in the game and try to win that game. And if you do that, you'll get more money for your upgrades than you would have if you just sim the game. So that's kind of cool. So a really cool thing is here we are, we designed our game, we said, hey, 94, NHL 94 was such a great game, uh, let's put it in our game. So on PS2, you can uh, play the NHL 94. That's really cool, and you can kind of compare it to uh, where our game has gotten to since. So NHL 06, uh, the rush is back. It's about the offense. It's amaz amazing, cool things you could do uh, with your offensive skills. Left analog deke, right analog shots, incredible one-timers, deflections. Uh, you still got to play good defense, but the options are there uh, on offense, and it's just everyone's having a lot of fun. It's simple to pick up and play, but hard to master.